What up, though, heist man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Long live Patrice O'Neill, great comedic genius, great comedy mind. Um, y'all might know him for doing the roast of Charlie Sheen. Um, he had comedy specials, The Elephant in the Room. Go check that out. The Opie and Anthony Show. Just overall greatness, man. I've been listening to a lot of him lately on the Opie and Anthony Show. Um, I like his delivery. I like everything, man. I really love like watching the Opie and Anthony Show. Is 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 him sitting there talking instead of doing a stand up routine. And um, I've been listening to him for a long time, man. Like it's over four hundred and twenty five hours on YouTube. Of him on the Opie and Anthony show. Big shout out to them, man. Um, but I've been like just really listening to him and really getting into his vibe, man. And it's a tragedy that he's not with us no more. And I just want to, I don't know, man. I just, just want to show some love to him in some kind of way. And I figured, figured I'd do it this way. Um, sometime I see a movie on TV and I'll be like, man, Patrice O'Neill, he would have liked that. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to give you some movies that Patrice O'Neill would have loved. This is this opinionated also because we don't know. You know, he's not here with us to say he like it. But sometimes you see the movies, you be like, man, he would rock with this movie right here. Like I said, it's all opinions, man. So, you know, just check this out. If I miss anything or if some movies y'all think he might have liked, put it down in the chat, man. Because I got some of these movies that I think he might have liked. We'll see. For starters, I think he would have liked John Wick. Um, Patrice was an animal man, and that's what this movie about. John Wick, Keanu Reeves, coming to get them, you know, revenge on his dog. A lot of action in it. And when I seen this movie, like, he probably would have liked all of them. You know, I'm just saying John Wick in general. But I think he would have liked this. I think he would have rocked with this movie. I got a few of these, man. Let's check these out. Let's see. The Meg. Big shark in the water, biting people, eating people. Part two coming out pretty soon. And I think he would have liked this movie. You know, like I said, all oh, this is opinion. This is my opinion. Um, Not just because I like these movies, but when I see a, like, a good movie, I think that man, he might have liked this movie. Just by listening to him so much, you know, you kind of get the feel of it. And what he, you know, might have liked. I might do a movie also about movies he probably wouldn't have liked. Mad Max Fury Road. I think he would have liked this. You know? It's just my opinion. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Y'all think he would have liked the, some of these movies. Tell me the movies y'all don't... If I pick some of these movies y'all don't think he would have liked, put in the chat also. No, nah, he wouldn't have liked that big dog. He wouldn't have liked that one. But I think he would have liked Mad Max Fury Bro. I think he um he liked Mad Max, you know? Like, you know, just listen to him. You can tell what type of stuff he liked. And I, that's what I'm saying. This is my opinion. What else? American Horror Story. When I say movies, I'm saying this is movies and shows. Because I'm going to title this probably Movies Patrice O'Neill Would Have Loved. But it's going to be movies and um, TV shows. It's hard. It was hard for me to pick any um, comedy movies because comedy is suggestive. Some stuff, like you can tell some stuff he didn't like, some stuff he didn't. He like, I don't know. I'm not going to judge him on his, his love of comedy movies because I heard him talk about some movies he was like nah I ain't like that and it was pretty good and he was like nah he ain't like that though so, you know, mm. I think he would have liked American Horror Story I ain't gonna say he would have liked every season of it but he would have liked it I think he probably would have liked Django it's grimy gritty directed by Quentin Tarantino love he got the N word all over that movie he would have rocked with that movie I think he would have loved Django seeing um you know, man, kill all them people and do all that stuff he did in Django. Y'all seen that movie? Oh, I know he would love Deadpool. Full of action, cursing, killing, griminess, just grittiness. I think he would have rocked with this Deadpool movie. What else? Let's see. Invincible, same thing. Gritty, grimy, cursing, gore, bloody. Stuff like that. I, I'm picking some good movies I think he would have enjoyed, man. Just, hmm. The Man from Toronto. I think he would have liked this. Um, It's a Netflix movie. 
what's my man name? Kevin Hart, Woody Harrelson. A lot of action and stuff. I had I had an actress by that one. An actress. I got big teeth. He would like that. Day shift. I think he would have liked that. Zombies and stuff like that. Vampires, I think it was. Big guns and stuff. I think he probably would have rocked with this. I really do. I like that movie too. It was alright. Netflix movie. What else? Bullet Train. He would have got down with that. In my opinion. This is all opinion, folks. So don't crucify me. He might have liked that. What else? Ted. Well, Ted 2. This I say Ted 2, but I don't know. I didn't like Ted. I ain't like Ted 1 or Ted 2. I ain't even see Ted 2. But he was a um, Seth MacFarlane fan and it's a cursing bear, grimy. You see them having a couple beers right here. That's the kind of stuff he liked. From what I know of him. Never met the man. Don't know him. But you know what I mean? Y'all get it, man. The Heart of They Fall. Black Cowboys. Killing people. Pretty dope movie. I like this movie. It's a real good movie also. It's on um, Netflix. Check it out. James Samuel. He would have loved that movie. Oh, he definitely would love the Peacemaker. That was so dope right there. Action, superhero, comic book type movie. Um, I think he really liked The Dark Knight. He might have liked that. I ain't even put this on the list, but that new, um, the new Bat, not the new Batman, but the one that had Bane in it. Because he really liked the Heath Ledger one. So he would he definitely would have probably liked the one with Bane, but he would have definitely liked this Peacemaker. It's, you know, he would have liked that. The boys, he would have definitely loved the boys. Um, this is why I made this video right here. This one, I only got one more after this. The boys, um, I was thinking he would like this movie, and I seen it in the comic section of one of the Opie and Anthony, you know, one of the many videos on YouTube, and it said somebody said, like, Patrice O'Neill would like the boys. I was like, oh, I was thinking the same thing. That, Got me up motivated to do this video, you know. So I said, He definitely, I said, I got to make the video now. It was like a sign. And last but not least, on this list, I have this cocaine bear. I can bet money on this right here. I can bet some major money that he would have loved cocaine bear. That was that's my number one overall the cocaine bear and the boys. I said, I know he would have loved them movies, but definitely cocaine bear. Um. He was a King Kong fan, the old version of King Kong. I remember him saying like he didn't really like the new one because the new King Kong had feelings inside of him and he didn't want to see that. He didn't want to see um, the monkey die. And he, he said he would have cried if he seen that. So when I seen Cocaine Bear, I was like, oh, he would have loved this because the Cocaine Bear was just straight murderous. This bear, no feelings. <sighs> Get you. So these are the movies I think he would have liked. I'm, um, it depends how this video do. I might do another one. The videos I don't think he like. Like I said, this is all opinionated. This is like obviously he cannot say he would have liked these movies or would not have liked these movies. But I'm just just deep down the side. I'm telling you, man, I've been really enamored in his content. Like when he was alive, I knew he was alive. It was like he passed away in 2011, and I seen um. You know, his comedy specials. Um, what's that one called? Elephant in the Room. Um, the Black Phillips show. He had that. And he had the Opie and Anthony show. And that's the one I've been watching for like the past nine months. Just watching and listening to him. Getting his whole, whole everything down. It's like, oh man. I just want to be in the side of a Patrice O'Neal fan club. Just because I want to make sure his name live on, man. It's like one of my favorite comedians. And I won't even say favorite comedians because I ain't really see that much of his stand up. I see more of his interviews or his radio personality than his in I mean than his comedy special. So when I'm sitting there listening to him, I can get the whole the feel of the man. Pause. But you know what I mean? I can just like and that's why I was able to come up with something like this of movies Patrice O'Neill would have loved. So Y'all tell me down in the comment section what y'all think about this and what y'all think. Um, did I miss any? I, I, it's plenty of movies that, you know, this was only like 
15 of them, 10 to 15, I think about 15 of the ones I picked. But I just want y'all to pick some movies that y'all think he would have liked also because I want to know. I want to um, start something, man. Just I don't know. I just want to talk to somebody that know him and his content also because he has so much life and joy and just everything. Relationship, um, content, a lot of stuff, man. Great dude, man. R.I.P. to the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Patrice O'Neal. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. R.I.P. Patrice O'Neal. Like I said, I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff just like this. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace. All right. This time... But I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.